Hi guys, it's me, Brandeline Johnson. I'm a spiritual life and business coach, psychic medium, author, and educator. Um, I have been, uh, I had my spiritual awakening in 2010. And ever since then, I've been teaching intuition and mediumship development. It's the most amazing thing because as we shift into a higher consciousness, more and more of you guys are having spiritual experiences. And in this video, I'm going to be addressing being bipolar as a symptom of being a medium. Um, so, so, so often people are being diagnosed by the medical community for a spiritual situation. Not always, because this is something that gets a little bit heated when I bring up the subject, but a huge percentage of people that have been diagnosed bipolar are actually mediums and they don't know it. And when I say medium, I mean, it's like you have this light on about you and spirits are attracted to that light, either because they want to consume some of it, like if they're a lower level, or because they want you to deliver a message to their living loved ones. And so what happens, I'm going to give you an example of, of being bipolar and what could be actually happening here. And then um, if you guys have questions, reach out to me on my website, brandoline.com. Check out my development courses. One of uh, my favorites is the Awaken Group Intensive Program because that's the one that I actually can help you with. The other ones are evergreen and they're do-it-yourself, um, which those are fine too. But when I meet somebody and they are bipolar and I share with them what I'm about to share with you and then they realize that they might be able to manage their symptoms, not only manage their symptoms, but that they're actually being called into action to have a spiritual awakening and to actually help other living people and deliver messages from their loved ones. One of my favorite testimonies that I've gotten was from a beautiful woman. She's on my website, Jill Love, and um, she was bipolar. She was diagnosed bipolar for 15 years. After she went through my program, no problem. She's a medium, and she's actually doing readings and helping people, and she can manage her ups and downs and her depression and all that because of the tools that she learns through the class. So, for example, um, when you have this mediumship light bulb, that's what I like to call it, on, and you also have gone through some trauma, some traumatic events. So what happens when our vibration gets low, right? When we're going through that traumatic event, your energy field is not protected. Um, you're often open. Sometimes um, there's things called soul retrieval, right? When you're going into shamanic. So sometimes your soul kind of like wants to pop out of this trauma. It's like, nope, not going to be witnessing this. And so what happens is opens up your energy field for, for other things to like attach or to come in and your vibration gets lower and you start getting influenced by lower level energies. The fact that you're, pro you're a medium means that you can actually receive information for, through seeing, hearing, feeling, and knowing. Those are what we call your clairs. I have other videos about that. Um, it's, but when, when you don't know you're a medium, you think that you're thinking those thoughts on your own. You think that um, something that you're actually hearing is actually something that's being inserted into your head from uh, either a higher or a low, lower level energy but you believe it to be true for your own self. You believe you're thinking this. You believe these visions that you're seeing are, belong to you. Um, or you believe that the thoughts that you're having all belong to you. And so that's why so many people get confused when they're going through their spiritual awakening. And so I always like to say, you might as well go through your spiritual awakening now so that you can handle it. Whereas a lot of other people you know, maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're not at that vibrational level to go through their spiritual awakening, but they're still being influenced by invisible people, right? <laughs> Spirit. After we pass away, you know, we, we still exist. And um, that's where mediumship comes in, right? So being bipolar means that you may be being influenced by those lower level energies that are that can to um, that can influence you to become angry. They could say to you like, "This is wrong," and and when a spirit realizes that 
it can influence you and you actually take action, then it just gives it more power. And so it's just going to keep doing it. And, and you're going to keep thinking that you're freaking crazy and you're going to take action. And you actually feel the emotion bubble up because you're angry because these thoughts trigger your emotions, right? These thoughts that's coming in trigger your emotions. So you start acting as if you're very angry or acting as if you're very depressed. And that's that lower end of the bipolar. Now, on the other aspect, you can also have moments of hearing the voice or seeing visions um, or feeling the energy of higher vibrational. And that's when you're going to be on your high. That's when you're like more connected to like an angel um, or one of your spirit guides or one of your loved ones that loves you so dearly. And those are going to be when you're in your higher moments. I like to call like the bipolar almost as like on the old cartoons, right? The Bugs Bunny that you would have like the double on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder. I mean, we saw this stuff as kids. And now as adults, and I'm those of you that are watching this video, some of you may be going, this is a baloney. <laughs> but we believed it when we were kids. Um, but now the medical community is saying, nope, there's something wrong with your brain. We're going to go ahead and give you some, some medicine. And again, I am not saying that everyone that ha has been diagnosed bipolar is a medium, but I bet you there's a huge chance out there. I'm not telling you to not take your medication by any means. Definitely, um, you know, work through this with your, your medical practitioner. Um, but what I am saying is to look at the different perspective. And if you have more questions, reach out to me on my website, brandoline.com, and I can help you understand this a little bit more and maybe help you manage it and maybe help you completely transform your life and your reality and you'll be happier for it and then i've done my job because you will be in alignment with your path because you're all here to help us shift into that higher consciousness and right now sometimes people with bipolar are just getting too much information coming in they don't know how to handle it so they start acting as if okay so i'm sending you guys all love make sure to give me a follow on my youtube and also on my Instagram, at Brandoline. I'm watching my stories. I'm forever on the stories. Love them, love them, love them. And I'm sending you guys love and light.